know, I walked into the sanctuary this morning and I could not help but to be just a little sad. You see, all of those beautiful Christmas decorations that we've enjoyed since Thanksgiving are now taken down and stored away for another year. And I couldn't help but be just a little sad because I love the beauty of this sanctuary. Now, I love it all year long, but at Christmas it is truly spectacular. And I couldn't help but just be a little bit regretful. Why couldn't we leave it up for another week or two or a month or so or enjoy it as long as we could? Oh, I know. It's time. We need to move on. Christmas has come and Christmas is gone. We enjoyed it. We were so blessed by it. But now it's time to do other things. It reminds me that there is a season for everything in our lives. You know, that's what the Bible tells us in Ecclesiastes 3.11. It simply says this, He has made everything beautiful in its time. There is a season for everything to show its beauty in a powerful way. That's true in our lives. That's true in our circumstances. That's true in our opportunities. That's true in our challenges. God assigns a season to everything, and it is the perfect season for that. But then there comes the time when we move on to other things. As we begin this new year, Let's remember that God has given our lives seasons and that what he has assigned for the year to come is going to be a very special time for you and me. It may not be exactly what we expect, but it will be absolutely perfect. I look forward to sharing these times with you. I look forward to seeing how God is going to make everything beautiful. And we're going to trust him as he leads us. Let's pray. Father, we thank you that all things are beautiful in their time, that you assign a season. And in that season, different things show their beauty. So that, Lord, even though right now we've lost our Christmas decorations, we look forward to the Easter season, which is to come, to the spring season when the leaves will begin to sprout again. And every season will be absolutely perfect. And thank you, Father, that that's not just true about the environment around us. It's true about the life within us. And Father, we pray this year, help us to see those things that you make beautiful at exactly the right time. Help us, Lord, to trust you, to watch you, to pay attention to what you're doing, and to know that everything you do is right. And we pray in Jesus' name, amen.